When we talk about a cloud control plane, we need to think about a war room, a mission control center just like in the movies. A big room full of screens, phones, people talking, and information is flowing. The purpose of this room is to answer observability questions like what aircrafts do we have in the air, what are their types, and what are they carrying, and to answer provisioning questions like which aircrafts are down, do we need to launch another plane, and where to. The same thing goes for a cloud environment. The control plane's responsibility boils down to two of these functions, observability and provisioning. How do we know which virtual machines do we have? How does our cloud inventory look like? How do we observe what's happening in our cloud estate? And how do we provision assets? That is where the control plane comes in. It's a central management system for our cloud. This is the brain of our cloud estate. The control plane provides management and orchestration tools across all our cloud environment. It's where our cloud configuration baseline are set and where the user and role access are provisioned. So how does the control plane actually look like? It may come as a shape of a web portal, like the AWS console, but it can also be the command line interface, API, or SDK that the cloud provider lets us use in order to scrape all the metadata that we need to see which security groups cover which workloads, how traffic is routed in our virtual networks, and much more. 